Yo, it's Brandon with Whiskey River and it's Whiskey River Weekly. Sorry for the mess of bubble and cardboard behind me. Uh, I'm kind of limited on space right now to do this with uh, the tripod, but I got an axe collection in. We have an unboxing video on YouTube. Check it out. I just published it. It's like 20 minutes of us going through this crate and showing off a lot of Tazzies. It's like, hey, Tazzy, Tazzy, Lakeside, double bits. Uh, super fun. I had fun. I did it late last night at like 10 o'clock. So, um, yeah. Anyway, this auction is, we're calling the Washington auction. It's got a George Washington doorstop in it, which is super fun. Uh, I've never actually had one of those. I just see them on the internet, right? Um, not that they're like super valuable by any means, but you know, if you're an axe collector, why not have an axe doorstop? Um, I've got that. Uh, and then as well as it comes out of Washington State. So that's what we're calling it, the Washington Collection. It's gonna be our Black Friday, you know, week auction because it just ends up that way. We need some time to get it cataloged and photographed and descriptions written on it. So um, we're gonna be uh, right in line with uh, the crazy time of Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Thanksgiving, all of that stuff. So um, anyway, today's Friday. We've got an auction ending today, tonight. And it's got, I've got three pieces sitting here that I really enjoy. And that's what I want to show you. So first, Zenith Marshall Wells stamped boys axe. We're partial to these Zenith Marshall Wells um, and Hickory because they're out of Duluth, right? And we're close to Duluth, only about an hour away. So cool piece. Homemade Pickhead. This used to be a double bit. And someone did a relatively good job. I mean, for what they're doing, right? Um, it's on a handle that is less than desirable, but it could be pre-hung and, uh, you know, good beater truck axe. Cool project, something weird, a crazy mod. That looks like it was done quite some time ago. So there's that. And last and certainly not least, one of my favorites, Belknap bluegrass jersey on a sweet vintage handle. So great work in axe. Been rehung. Anyway, um, that ends today. We have another auction going live today with some really cool stuff in it. Some embossed axes, um, some, uh, some stilettos, some keen cutters, a sweet, sweet, sweet ads. That's new, like new old stock, never been used. Okay. Um, super sweet handle or so, super sweet head. Um, no handle on it, but you know, um, like museum piece quality, it, uh, we don't even know what to say. Anyway, um, that's going live today in the next auction. So stay tuned for that. That'll be auction 18, 18, I believe. So I hope you guys aren't sick of hearing about vintage axes, right? Because we're heavy in the vintage axes right now. Um, we've got a few new handle models coming out. Hopefully, fingers crossed, before the end of the year, we've got some retooling to do uh, at the mill uh, around the first of the year. So we're like scrambling to try to figure out what we're releasing and just try not to overload ourselves when we retool uh, at the first of the year. So um, handles are gonna be in stock. I hope to have a load before Black Friday, Cyber Monday, so that we can actually incorporate those into our sales. Um, because I know that you guys like getting handles, but I know you guys even, even more, you like getting handles at a discount. So we're gonna chew for that see what we can do. Um, I may or may not have done a poll on Instagram talking about blanks. We may have uh, blanks available in the next few weeks, you know, three inches by dimensional length, two inches thick. Um, so if you want to carve your own handle, I know hickory is hard to find in some regions of the country and we have access to it. So I was like, Hey, why don't we uh, sell blanks and ship them to you? So um, we're trying to Keep those at an affordable cost uh, and uh, keep them in dimensional lengths so that you don't have to get as much waste and instead of having to go down to the lumber yard try to buy a big board cut it up to fit it in your car uh, we're just going to ship it right to you uh, in the length you want so uh, so stay tuned for that stay tuned for that um what else do i got oh well i got this washington collection and i was like well let's uh let's show off some pieces so let me lower this a little bit so you can see this Puget's pretty sweet. This is a lakeside. I just want to do a teaser. We should head over to the other video. I'll put the link in the description. Um, and uh, stamp four pound. I'll put the link in the description. You can head over to that video and uh, 
Watch it through. Connie's, Tazzy's, double bits, single bits, just piles and piles of really, really cool stuff that, you know, you don't get to see every day. So that's super fun. Let's see. Where's that? Here it is. A beveled Tassie that's stamped uh, St. Catharines, Ontario, made in Canada by Kelly Axe and Tool Show. That's cool. And I showed this off. I showed this off on Instagram and YouTube Shorts, and because you know they want us to do YouTube Shorts now, um, and maybe Facebook. I think I shared this on Facebook. But it's a boy's axe uh, washboard pattern, which is cool, or washboard style by High Test. So, or no, Keen Steel. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is not American made, but uh, and that's where my knowledge is based. But this is a super cool head, and I want to put a handle on it and swing it before I auction it. We'll see if that happens. So, um, anyway, that's that. So yeah, we have an auction. We have an auction going live here in a few uh, hours, and then we also have another auction ending later today as well. So stay tuned. Auction, auction, auctions. Lots and lots of axes coming in and going out, shipped to your door. It's super easy. Head over to bid.whiskeyrivertrading.com. I'll put the I'll put the link in the description on this as well. Head over there, get registered to bid. We've got an iPhone and an Android app. Super easy to bid. You win, we ship it to your door. We bill you for real shipping price. None of this inflated auction house stuff. I shipped a I shipped a hatchet the other day that I won on the on another online auction site, and they charged me forty five dollars to ship it. I was like, ah, that's crazy. So um, realistic shipping, ship to your door. We clerk it within a few days of the auction ending, and then we try to get it shipped out relatively quick, you know. And uh, so it's pretty seamless easy low stress process we want this whole auction to be not like ebay we want good photographs we want good descriptions we want a customer experience that we all want to see right like going to a high-end antique auction they're fun if you've never been to a real live like a live one you should go especially the tool ones but even like antique furniture or antique glassware things like that they're super super fun to go to um it's it's not stressful you know some of the farm auctions can get a little stressful with equipment and such but um but yeah anyway we're trying to make this uh pretty relaxing auction um website and uh i think we're doing a pretty good job at it um from what i'm seeing so anyway uh, i'm always buying collections if you know anybody or you yourself have a collection that you'd like to sell any quality from base you know no name stuff all the way up to crazy exotic you know foreign slash um rare stuff hit me up hit me up and i'm in our email and uh and we'll uh we'll chit chat so anyway be good stay sharp and uh see you next week